NBA playoffs are here. I don't care what they call them. I don't care that they don't keep the stats. They're not the or playoffs because if they don't, this right? is the playoffs. This is not the regular season. There's nothing else for it to be. Yeah, other but they the don't playoffs. count. You don't count as having a playoff appearance unless you make it to the seventh and eighth seed, Chris. That baffles So this me, is right? like it is. It's, it's weird. Like you can't find the stats for the previous playoff games, <laughs> right? It's like no, but they should they? have they the stats for the play in. But you know what I mean? But they don't yes. count as you making it. There's got to be a place for them because that doesn't right. make sense. I would just, I agree. to me, it's it's the playoffs. I mean, I get it. You you can call it, keep calling it the play-in, but the numbers maybe should be, I think they should count as playoff games. But hey, whatever the case, it starts tonight. And uh, it'll be in a half an hour. Atlanta and Miami squaring off in the Eastern Conference, Rob, the seven and eight seeds. And then the Lakers, who a lot of people are excited about and think they have a chance to make some noise uh, this postseason. They host the Minnesota Timberwolves. Remember, no Rudy Gobert, no Jaden McDaniels, and maybe a no chance. But, Rob, you you are not high on the Lakers. Now, let me remind you before you, you, you go off with bass in your voice and ten toes down and you, see you this clown the Lakers. On? Columbia, yes. Okay. Yes, Columbia, South Carolina. No, yes, Columbia nice, J School. Nice <laughs> <laughs> but you said, Rob, I'm just reminding you, that the Lakers wouldn't even make the play-in. So apparently you were wrong. I was wrong because I didn't realize, and I'm here to douse the water on all these Laker fans and all these Laker homers who who – or in disguise as media members who are waving the Lakers pom-poms and they hope against all hope that the Lakers make some sort of miracle run for LeBron and deep down they're fans of the Lakers and they want LeBron and the Lakers to make some miracle run. But I'm not buying it. I'm not in. Count me out. And this is why, Chris, I didn't realize when it came down to it and I didn't think they'd even make the play in is I didn't realize how weak and easy the schedule was. And here we go. Let me give you some numbers. These are facts, not feelings. They only had really one legitimate win against a good team in the last six weeks of the season. Uh, The Lakers beat the Warriors without Wiggins. They beat the Pelicans without Zion. They beat the Suns without KD or Ayton. And... Uh, They did have the one big win, which was on the road against Minnesota when they came back from 17. They played great. They won that game. But the schedule that they played has been fugazi. It has been weak as toilet paper, wet toilet paper. So I, I understand why people, oh, look how good they are, the trades and who they have, and oh, my God. I'm telling you this team is not playoff tested other than LeBron and, and AD and the other pieces that they added. I want to see when it push comes to shove. <laughs> no, but I'm LeBron and AD and no, the other pieces No, but I'm saying, added, but you need, you a, you need other team? people. No, you need other people and those other pieces, which <laughs> because we've already seen LeBron James not factoring or not having the same impact on winning despite good numbers. So that's why I'm saying you need to have other people as well. And here's the other thing is you can count on AD and LeBron throughout this whole postseason. LeBron has a bad wheel. We don't know how bad it is. It can turn at any minute. I'm here to tell you do not buy into the Lakers. Do not buy any real estate. Do not buy any stocks and bonds. Run the other way. The Lakers are paper mache. They are fugazi up and down. And look at what they did recently. If that sells you, I have a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. So do they get through the play-in? They got Minnesota tonight, and well, if they it should lose, be Minnesota missing two players. I mean, this is this is the whole story of the Lakers. If everybody's okay. going to be missing two players, then they should win. If they lose, then we got a bigger story. Okay, if they win, they they got Memphis. So you think Memphis beats them? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, look, I don't think the Lakers will win the West. My pick is Golden State. 
However, I think you went way too far, just like you did when you foolishly said they wouldn't even make the play. And it sounds like half your argument is that they might get hurt. And they might. But what if they don't? You mean to tell me a team with a healthy LeBron James, who while he might not be what he used to be, is still one of the top 10, 15 players in the world. Is he injured? No. He's playing. And he had 30-something points in, what, three of his last four games, I believe. Anthony Davis, who is definitely playing like one of the best players in the world. Now, what I'll say about him, although I'm not predicting or obviously neither of us is hoping for an injury. But here's the, this is a little bit sobering, Rob. He's now been healthy for about two and a half months. 31 of the last 34 games, I believe he's played. But that's typically the limit for AD. Uh, the last time he played more than two and a half, three months without an injury was his first season with the Lakers. And that was in 2020 when they won the championship. Now, he played most of the games and was healthy going into the bubble. But then, of course, they did get the break, the three, four month break before four the bubble. So he played through that. But uh, outside of injury, Rob, What's not to like, at least as far as giving them a shot? I mean, again, two of the top 10, 15 players in the world. They're one of the few teams with that type of, with two guys like that. They've got shooting in, in, when they added Malik Beasley and D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves has been there. They've got defense. Jared Vanderbilt is a wicked perimeter defender, and obviously AD is strong at the rim. And they have been one of the top five defenses, higher than that, actually, since the All-Star break. And then you've got uh, uh, length. You've got depth with Rui Hachimura. you got Mo Bamba. Um, they, Rob, this is a squad. I don't know why you don't like them. I mean, yeah, they, they're, they haven't really been tested because they haven't played great teams. But they've taken care of business against the teams they've played. And, I mean, we had Golden State lost to Denver without Jokic recently. Philadelphia just got hammered by Miami. Um, you know, the, we're seeing teams, Phoenix struggled, even though they won. They struggled with Denver without uh, Jokic. So they are beating teams. And, I'm again, they're not my pick to win the West. But for you to just act like they're, to use your word, Fugazi, I need more than that. I need more than they haven't played a tough schedule. Give me something. I mean, because I'm looking at the roster like, yo, he can ball, he can ball, he can ball, he can ball. Like, what? what the, what's not to like? But that's, Chris, the, the problem is playing regular season games against bad teams is not the same as being in the postseason making shots that matter. But yeah, it's a what, bit, what, it's a I'm big, not worried about you worried I'm about so, LeBron and AD. Well, I'm just saying that LeBron and AD. LeBron's been in the, uh, been in the league 20 years. He has four championships. So yeah, I mean, I, I know everybody. Well, I mean, everybody makes it like it's automatic that LeBron is is going to win a championship or people are on that bandwagon. I'm just saying I don't buy into this team because they haven't been tested. Winning one game is not winning four out of seven against better teams that have been together all year. I'm just going to put my money on the field rather than the Lakers. And well, I just, I mean, I, I'm not going to buy into uh, the Fugazi or lame schedule that they played. And they beat, they won the games. They counted. They made the play in. I, I underestimated that they would, that teams wouldn't have their full throttle of players and, and well, Zion would be out and Aiden would be out and, and, and Kevin Durant would be team. out. I'm just saying, but but I didn't realize that those all of those things would line up for them. So I'm out. But you're also – Everybody I, else can I, be Like in. I said, I'm not picking them to win the West, but I just think you're going too far to the other extreme and act, like calling them Fugazi. And here's the thing. Denver – and it didn't didn't finish strong to say the least. Memphis had issues with their star player John Morant. 
Steven Adams is out. Brandon Clark is out. Sacramento, young as all, get out. No playoff experience whatsoever. Doesn't defend. They're 25th in the league in defense. Phoenix had eight games together, and they didn't play anybody either. They didn't play anybody either. All right, with, with Durant. They got like one good win out of their eight. The Clippers banged up. No yeah, Paul but- George. Golden State, not pick, but have struggled on the road. Wiggins coming back from injury. I mean, everybody got questions. So the, the Lakers don't have any more questions than anybody else in the West. 